It's me, your girlfriend, hello, hey, there you are, all right, hmm, shh, calm down, please relax. What is the matter with you? Well, I can't understand you with that on, can I? <gasps> Calm down. Look, you're stuck. You can't go anywhere. So you're better off sitting there and relaxing. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You understand? Yes? Great. Hmm, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Great. You don't look very impressed, but you never do. I don't want you to panic, okay? At all. I love you and I am going to look after you like I have been doing, so, you know. Don't worry. And safe hands. Hmm, you okay? Hmm, I do love your eyes. Hmm, they're always so pretty. So, now you are calming down. I can speak. Mm hmm. But if you start wiggling, trying to speak to me, I will get angry. You don't want to see me angry, do you? No. I can't take that off either because you'll start shouting. And you know I don't like shouting. So I'm going to have to keep it on. Okay. Yes. Good. So we'll leave that there. But you're probably wanting to know, where are you? And what are you doing here and what's happened? Is that right? I thought so. So why don't I tell you? So do you remember anything at all? What's the last thing you can remember? Oh yes, the dinner table. I had all this planned out, so what happened was I thought I would cook you a nice romantic meal, just for the two of us. Spend some good quality time together, you know. We don't get that much. And, well, I did your food and mine. You noticed we had two separate dishes. Mm -hmm. And, well, you had a drink. I had a drink. We were having a nice chat. Anything else ringing a bell yet? Mm. Well, I popped something in your food. But I didn't really, you know, notice much of a change. Maybe you got a little bit sleepy, but you were still, you know, full of yourself as usual. And I got you a fresh drink and I just popped a tad bit more in your wine. And I think I gave too much. 
Actually, I did because you tried to get up because you didn't feel very well. You just, you just went kind of weird and you fell and smacked your head on our coffee table. And that was it. You blacked out. I mean, I wanted you to be out of it, but I didn't want you to be knocked out, literally. But that happened anyway, so I had to get you here, one way or another, and I tried to have a look at your head wound and, and say I've done quite a good job. Mm. Oh, is that a little bit sore? Mm, I'm sorry. Not my fault that you fell on a coffee table. But there you go. But I've been looking after it. It's coming on a lot nicer. I cleaned it up for you, okay? And I had to put some stitches in. And then I put nice padding over it. And yeah, I've been looking after you for uh, the last 24 hours. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit more straightforward than that, but obviously I gave you too much sedative, so you're out a lot longer than I hoped. But I give you some fluids and things, so, you know, you've been keeping hydrated, so that's all good. So, are you feeling okay? Yes? Great. So, hopefully no lasting damage then. <laughs> mm. Please, stop looking at me with that look. I can see it, you know, just because your mouth is taped up doesn't mean I can't see it. What do you expect me to do? I had to get you here somehow, so I did a sedative. That was my easy option. Just please calm down, calm down. I can't hear you. No, I really can't. Look, I can't hear you with that on. I'm not taking it off. I'm not. You'll start shouting. You know that. And I hate shouting. Please calm down now. Just come on. Come on. That's it. There's no point in getting stressed because, well, that's not going to get you anywhere. So you just need to breathe. Mm. <sighs> Obviously you can't open the mouth a bit, but you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Mm. You're beautiful, aren't you? <sighs> oh, don't look so worried. It just, you know, here in case I had to look at your wound again. I need to protect my hands and all, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, how are you looking then? How is your body coming along? Are you all good? Mm hmm. Hmm. You're looking nice. Hmm. So have you calmed down? Good. So this is my special It is soundproofed in the middle of nowhere and underground. So there is no way of anyone hearing you here. There's no way of anyone finding you here. I mean, we haven't got no signal, nothing. Nobody knows this place exists, except me. So we've just got me now. All me to take care of you. 
isn't that nice? <laughs> mm. Do you even know why you're here? Why I've done this? I don't think so. Do you ever know? Hmm. <laughs> Don't. Well, <laughs> you're a typical person, but you typically don't know. You won't you know, accept that you're wrong. You never do. <sighs> Please keep still. Why are you fidgeting? What is that going to achieve? You are not going to get out of that. Okay, you are in secure. There is no way you are going to get out of there. Okay, and well, I have plenty of sedatives there. And different needles and things like that, so I can always pop a cheeky one in you to calm you down. That's not a problem. Hmm, all sorts of things. Hmm. Stop looking sorry for yourself. Embarrassing, it really is embarrassing. <sighs> Look, you're on a bed, you're comfy. I've given you a comfy bed, okay? You've got a pillow, you've just got tape on your mouth, and you're tied to the bed. That is all. I mean, it's a duvet as well. Don't be so ungrateful. Why are you always ungrateful? You've always done that to us. You wonder why you're here? <sighs> no, no, you're not you're not gonna drag me down again. No chance. No chance at all. <sighs> I mean you're not even grateful, are you, that you've got a bed and a pillow and a mattress and the mattress I've got you a memory foam mattress because I wanted you to be comfortable. I mean, I don't want you to be not comfortable, do I? No, that is not going to work on me this time. You are not going to make me feel bad. You're not even talking to me and you're trying to make me feel bad with your looks. It's not on. Look, just calm down a little bit, okay? Okay, let's calm down. Okay. Right. Thank you. You're calm. I have got some food and some water for you as well. Okay. So don't worry about that. I can get that for you. Not a problem. So now you know how you got here and what's happened in the last 24 hours and, you know, what you've got in this room and that, where we are. But I don't know. I was scared at first, I must admit, I was scared at first. I I thought I had, you know, killed you. And then I was panicking then. I was thinking, well, that's done too quickly, isn't it? I don't want it done too quickly. These things need to take time, don't they? Mm, take time. Mm. But I'm so glad that you've woken up. Because that 
means I can have some fun. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Sorry, I can't quite hear you. You can sit there and try to mumble at me all you like. I can't understand you with that on your mouth. <laughs> I could remove it. But how do I know you're going to be quiet? I don't know. If you promise to be quiet, I will remove it. What do you say? Is that a nod to you agree? Okay, so will you be quiet? You will. Well, as I said before, no one's going to hear you, so that's not what I'm bothered about. I'm bothered about my ears. <laughs> to be honest, you know, it bugs me so much. I know we're miles away from anybody, under the ground, soundproofed. I'm not sure. Because then I'll have to hear your voice, listen to you drum things into my brain as you would normally. And that's not fair, is it? No. <sighs> Look. I'm going to be straight with you, okay? I am doing this for your own good. What do you look at me like that for? Of course I'm doing it for you. Who else would I be doing it for? Look, I did warn you numerous times, but you didn't listen. You never listen, do you? The only way I can make you listen is by bringing you here. Because you can't talk. You can grunt. You can try. But I can't understand you. And you have to listen to me. Brought this on yourself. Hope you know that. It's just your fault. Nobody else's. Yours. Look at you. Don't cry. What are you crying for? Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What's the matter? Mm. You're being a big baby. You're in safe hands, my love. Really safe hands. Mm. It's just me and you. Mm. Mm. You didn't really like that, did you? When I touched your face. You looked like you wanted to turn away. Do I repulse you? Do I? Because it, it seems that way. No, you're not doing this to me again. You're not doing this to me. You're not doing this to me. 
I love you. So please let me touch you. Please. Please. Stop turning your head away from me. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? To hurt me. You're playing a dangerous game. You do know that, don't you? You're messing with the wrong girlfriend. Are you going to calm down? Because I will take this up a notch if I have to. Oh, I will. <laughs> I've always said to you, haven't I? Don't mess with me because your life would be over. Yeah, and now look where you are. More for you. <laughs> you should have listened to me. Listened and respected me and loved me. Mm. But you didn't, did you? You didn't. Stop moving, let me touch you. Thank you. I know. I know you're probably feeling angry at me at the moment and I don't blame you, but... You know... It's probably just an initial shock, isn't it, that you're angry with me. I mean, you can't stay angry with me forever. I mean, you know, it is me and all. <laughs> why are you always so nasty to me? Like, why? It's all you ever do. And all I do is love you, respect you, and help you. I want to spend time with you, and you just the complete opposite and just nasty. Mm. I really don't want to hurt you, you know, but you've just left me with no choice. I'm sorry, but. I know. It's awful, isn't it, when you think about it? I mean... I have been planning this now. Some time, and probably hasn't gone how I hoped it was going to go when I first had it all planned out. But... Because you just have to go with the here and now, I suppose, and, you know, hope for the best that the rest of it is going to work out. See this? is a special kit of mine. Don't look so worried. Mm. Ah, it's okay. Mm. Let's place this down here. Right. As you can see, I have water and your biscuits. So I'm going to have to remove the tape. Okay. But if you scream or you shout or give me grief, I will put it straight back on. Okay. And then you'll see me really, really angry. And I know you've seen me angry a few times, but You've never seen me like this, have you? 
No, exactly. So I'm going to have to check all the restraints, okay? Then I will remove the tape. Got it? Good. Okay, let's try this. Right. Are you ready? Good. What was that for? Right, that's it. Come here. Stop it. Let me put it. Let me. didn't it? I did tell you, didn't I, to not do that. What an... Oh, I can't believe you. Well, I guess I'll have some of this then. Hmm. Well, you had your chance and... You blew it, didn't you? Mm. Mm. These are lovely. I bet you wish you could eat one. <laughs> Please keep still. Please. Lovely. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Mm, sorry, what are you trying to say? I can't understand you with that on. Mm hmm. Nope. You're looking... You want the drink and the biscuit. Okay. Right. So do you promise me that you are not going to scream and shout? Promise? Good. Okay then. Okay. Much better. One moment. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There we go. That's oh, you're getting it everywhere. Oh. Gently. Good. There we go. How's that feel? Yes, you haven't got to worry about that. That hasn't got any sedation in it. I've drank it myself, so. And obviously, I've ate some biscuit. I don't need to trick you into giving you sedatives when you're in this situation now, so you know, please bear that in mind. Open nicely wide. Come on. Well, you can't do it yourself, and I'm not undoing you. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's 
accidentally nibble. Oh, look at you. What a mess. Has it down? Nice. Good. If you don't mind, I'm going to have the other half. <laughs> Much better. Let's drink. Yeah. One moment. That's your lot. I'm not here to just mother you. There we go. Great. Now, where was I? You feeling alright, my love? Please don't ignore me. I know I was a bit, you know, upset with you shouting and talking and things, but I was hoping. It wouldn't happen. And it did, and then obviously I didn't want you talking. But I don't mind you talking normally. So if you've got something to say, please say it. Right, so you need the toilet. Like now? <clears throat> well, I haven't really thought about that. Hmm. Please be quiet. I'm thinking. No, we do have a toilet here, but I don't want you to go to it, do I? You're strapped up. You're awake. I could have given you a catheter, actually. I don't know why I didn't do that. I could do that. I might not have one with me. I will have to go and buy one, okay? So then I would come back and I can do that. But that's going to have to wait. I'd rather you not go on the bed. I mean, you know, you've got nice stuff on the bed. And you're the one that's going to sleep there, you know? You're going to feel wet and, and dirty I could uh, no. I um okay I might have a, a bucket bucket could you just wait a little bit please I I'm trying to think I I'm I think the best thing in the the long run is to get a catheter um, I don't mind doing that for you I could get one of those buckets over there and kind of hold it in place and do business in there. That's probably the, the uh, best thing for me to do. And luckily you are completely naked, so, you know, easy access to both areas. Mm-hmm. So... Just, uh, yeah, just let me think on that for a moment. If 
he wouldn't mind. Okay, good. You know, I am really sorry about this. I really am. I just... You're mine. And I want to be with you forever. I don't want anybody else to have you. You just can't stop cheating on me. No, 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 no. Shut up. I have evidence. Yeah, this is a part of it, why you're here. Because I know. I know. And I'm sick of being taken for a ride. I must have mug written on my head. But I tell you now, not for much longer. I mean, I love you and you say you love me, but I clearly don't because you wouldn't be sleeping with all these other women. There's, there's loads of them. They've all come to me. No, don't tell me they're lying. Don't, don't do that. Don't. I've already figured that out, that you would say that. Mm -mm. I'm not listening to that because, well... And you can lie and so you haven't already. And, you know, I mean, we, we know you have. I've seen text messages on your phone. <clears throat> on your phone. It is right here. I only found these when you were knocked out. And I found all these messages from lots of different women. I've seen all the pictures that was not harmless fun. That's been happening under my nose for weeks. For months, there was all sorts on here, and on your social media, everything. It's disgusting. The things that I've seen, the things that I've read, and I just can't take it. <laughs> There's one thing, right? There's one thing. <sighs> I know about the cheating, okay? But two women. me, they told me, they've shown me all sorts of different things, okay, so then I plan to do this, then I look at the phone during this, and it is true, and what I thought in the first place is true, the fact that You've been cheating the whole time you've been with me. It's all those I love yous aren't true. Are they? Don't, don't do that to me. Don't patronise me. I wasn't born yesterday. You know, we could be happy together. Just me, just you. We don't need anybody else. We can stay here. Make this our little home, you know. Obviously you can't go out. But I can go out and get us food and all sorts of things. I've worked so hard on here. I've worked so hard. I know this bit might look a bit scary, but this is just the special area where... I have you, but we could live here, and I could have, you know, family, and, you know, we could spend all that time together, just me and you, yeah? Don't 
don't turn your head at me, that, that's really hurtful. It's really, really hurtful. I don't know. Look, I could take care of you, can't I? I could do everything for you. I can cook, clean, washing. I can literally bath you, get you dressed, I could shave you. I could like, massage you. I can you know, do everything for you. And all you need to do is just enjoy it. Yeah? What do you say? Is that a yes? Or is that a no? So you're ignoring me. this to me. I mean, I'm giving you this opportunity to be with me forever, yeah? After what you've done to me, after you cheated on me, you sent me vile text messages and Facebook messages and WhatsApps to people. But what I do, I can forgive that. If you agree, to live here, off the grid, with me. You won't be allowed out, you won't be allowed off your phone. We can have a TV so you can keep, you know, watch things, but we're not having the internet. Only I have access to the internet and that's my own way and I'm not telling you that. But. You won't be allowed a phone, okay? So, yeah, I will have to get rid of that. Uh, oh, do you still need it? I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, um, oh, got an idea. I think I've got an idea. I might give you a sedative. No, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. Look, if I give you a sedative, I can go and get a catheter for you. And I know you're, you know, going to be resting and not going anywhere. What I could do is, as soon as I give you the sedative, I could bring the bucket there. So usually you'd probably relieve yourself then. Then I can go and get the catheter for when you wake up. Hmm. And then I could get some food and things in. What do you say? Is that a yes? Or is it a no? I didn't think so. <sighs> No, don't worry. I won't hurt you. I love you. Hmm. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. At least this way, you know, no one can bug us. No one can ruin it for us. Can they? And I've brought a little kitten. Hmm. I would have gone insane if we had to move in here and I hadn't brought my little chap. <laughs> hmm. This is beautiful. She can keep you company, can't she? Yeah. Keep you company. Hmm. 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 We won't have any of those WhatsApp messages going off, you know. None of them girls bugging you anymore and 
Look, it's me and you and Fluffy. Mm. I mean, we don't need anything else, do we? I mean, if you love me, that's enough, right? Mm. Surely it's enough. Mm. I mean, will you let me look after you? I can give you a back massage. A full body massage and mm. facial. I've got everything here. Mm. Hello. <laughs> you pretty girl. Mm. I know, I know, I know it's not the right thing to do. I understand that completely, but you've left me no choice, have you? What else am I meant to do? You're making me go crazy. No, I'll try and keep it calm, honestly. I don't know how long you're going to stay in those restraints for, okay? I haven't really thought about it. I haven't really thought that far. You know, I haven't thought these things through very well. I'm just running ahead and I'm just going with the flow, you know? Well, I don't know. I don't want to hurt you, no. But I don't know. If it happens, it happens. I don't know. Yes, I do love my cat. She gives me more love and affection than you ever do. You ever have done. Oh, don't give me that rubbish. You full of it, you are. Now, this is why I had tape on your mouth so I didn't have to hear you. Mm. Let's just be quiet for a moment. Let me gather my thoughts, please. Mm. I think it'd be good for us, you know, living here and we can decorate it and have a family and a kitty and oh, it'd be so much fun. And I can do everything for you. But, I need you to look after me too. It has to be a two-way thing. But just remember, I have things, okay? I have things. I have a lot of things here. I wanted to hurt you. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of different things. I can cut your hair the way I like it instead of you going to see that other woman and getting her to do it. And I can brush it brush mine. We came to spend all the time in the world together. What do you say? And I was thinking I could put my initials on you. But I will do that later. So, what I'm going to do I'm just going to give you that sedative for now. I'm going to get the big van with the rest of our belongings in. And I will come back. We can start our new life. But one step at a time. So I will be putting some tape back on you. I'm going to give you that sedative and I'm going to go. And then, when I next see you, you'll be awake. Hopefully I won't give you too much sedative. I think I know how much to give you and I'm going to inject it so it will be an instant thing, okay? But you should be okay. And then, you know, I'll set everything up and I've got your catheter. Because obviously I don't know how long I'm going to keep you in, like, this 
position. You know, I don't really know. I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. I've got all sorts of things in my mind, and I know if anything will go naughty on me and things like that, I know exactly what I'm doing. But it's got to be step by step. I need to trust you. I need to trust you. Hmm. But I don't think I can trust you. There's a lot more that we need to talk about. And obviously, I want to knife in my initials. Yeah. And I want to know that every single girl that you've had when you've been with me. You've got a lot to talk about. There's a lot I want to know in detail. And you've got nothing better to do, so you've got all that time to tell me. Now, I can't promise that I won't get angry. You know, and I do have all this here. And I'm not saying that I won't use it. And I'm not saying that I will. I will try my very, very best not to, but it really does depend on, you know, what we talk about, what I find out, and how angry I get. Anyway. Give me a kiss, my love. Good. Now you're quiet. I can give you sedative. Sleepy, aren't you? That's it. That's it. Close those pretty eyes. Close those pretty eyes. Pretty eyes. Pretty eyes. Meet you again, my lovely. <laughs>